This is a, um, a little landscape trailer. I believe it was six by ten. Uh, it was a tilt deck, and I repurposed it into a little dump trailer. I haven't weighed this thing yet, but I know prior to me cutting it up, the tag on the trailer said it weighed 900 pounds. It has a gross weight of 3,000 pounds. Um, it is now only 8 foot long. Plus it had a diamond plate steel wedge kind of on the back like right here it stuck out two feet further and then it had the little wedge on the back so when the deck tilted up it uh, was like a little uh, approach to get onto the deck and uh, so that plus the two feet got cut off the back of it um, it didn't have any sides to it it had the angle sides but they were open and it had a wood deck uh, now it has a eighth inch steel deck and uh, I closed the sides in with the eighth inch steel as well so I'm, I'm thinking it was a trade-off on the weight what it weighed before and after um, I cut the uh, stuff off the back of it um, may have gained a little bit of weight with my uh, contraption I have on the front of it for the lift but I'm thinking if it's a thousand pounds that's probably safe and that would leave me two thousand pound payload or, or one ton I've actually overloaded this thing twice I did my landscape rock here and uh, I got two full yards so it's a little bit over a ton per cubic yard of uh, material. So I had two, two cubic yards of the landscape rock on. I didn't haul it very far, and it did real well. Um, it's not something I do on a regular basis. The, the box is way bigger than what would ever be needed, or what it's capable of hauling. Um, it does brush real well would be fine for mulch you could load it till it's spilling off the sides and then some I could build the sides up and mulch is very light it would have no problem with it but a uh, little bit of landscape rock here and there and, and my brush is what I do a lot of it with when I do brush I'll, uh, I'll hook up just the way I have it now and um, once a year I'll get on the, the, the sea there and drag the trailer around the yard and it works out real well I take my loppers with me and uh, just sit up in the tractor seat and any branches that are close to my head I nip them off they'll fall on my lap and then I just chuck them right in the back and uh, it works out real well for me so but like I say this was a uh, 10 foot landscape trailer it had a tilt deck and the way the tilt deck worked it had up in the front here Right in here, there was a, um, it was like a boss and a clevis type setup. You pull a pin, and then the deck was just balanced, and the uh, it follows the hitch along to right there. That's the hinge point. Hook right on that cross member there. And the way it worked was the the deck, um, the way it was balanced would just tilt right up. So on that premise, I took the uh, axle and took it out of the trailer and flipped it. The axle's got a bow in it. You probably can't see it, but they're bowed a certain way so I had to take the axle out cut the perch off flipped it over welded the perch to the other side and that if you know anything about four-wheel drives and things like that and 
the older Jeeps, you had to do a axle flip on there with the spring perches, and uh, it gave me about four inches of lift, and um, and then I with the back cut off of it, uh, I, I get uh, it's almost 40 degrees of dump angle. So it's all repurposed. The angle I did have to make the tailgate. Um, this is just uh, angle iron, and I just trimmed trimmed it way down, welded it on there, made a channel. And this is actually that's just a S hook off of a uh, bungee cord, and this is just some chain, and it just fits fits in that little slot. That holds her on there um, the tarp when the tarp rolls back there's clips on each side and I'll usually take a piece of chain and pull up and then when I roll the tarp back wherever I need it I'll hook it onto the link wherever I need it to get it so it's tight and I have that on each side tailgate's a little heavy but it's not too too awful bad um, I had some shim stock laying around that I get off the, the job and made my uh, pockets for my boards. Boards also got from a dumpster at work. Um, a little tarp operation here. It's just a piece of uh, half inch or three quarter conduit. A little piece of half inch round stock. Can't really see it but I just took and hammered the uh, hammered the ends closed a little bit and then welded the round stock in. This is, um, I think this is a piece of old jack handle that I had, and uh, and just a piece of angle, and that made my my little bearing block for the uh, round stock. Piece of flat stock and more jack handle, and that made my my uh, hand crank. This is a knob. I have a little hoard inside where I keep knobs and levers and things, and uh, that made my hand crank for the, for the tarp. Um, the jack, I had a new jack that was given to me, it was going to go on another trailer and uh, I just incorporated it into this because this jack was, uh, on this thing was roached really bad. And my ammo can toolbox, that works out really good. It's nice and waterproof. I just got some extra bulbs and a little jack and jack handle and a breaker bar, some tie straps, and spare reflector, light cover. Mm, a couple other little things in there and it all stays nice and dry um, this this here was a uh, part of a big transmission jack from an automotive shop and a uh, guy I know that does scrap and whatnot he come across it and uh, he gave me the jack um, I believe it's rated at a thousand pounds um, I think that's what the sticker said on it this thing it had uh, this here was a was a foot pedal it had a foot pump on it and that um, that lever right there it actually I, I flipped it and that lever did go this way and I uh, cut the foot pedal off and put that little t-handle on there and that's how you put the jack up it um, uh, works out really well um, it telescopes um, I think it had there was something else that was down here this was a little bit different but this is the release you, you pull that and that lets the jack down so if I can get my phone set right off I'll, I'll raise it up I don't think this is going to work I'll jack it up has two stages to it so it gets really good lift out of it and even with the um, loaded with the two yards of landscape rock it's really not too bad to crank the handles long enough with that T handle you can stand next to it and really pull on it pretty good I hit it 
its second stage here real soon. There it goes. It goes really fast when the second stage kicks in. And we're pretty much bottomed out. So, that's her. <laughs> you can really see the dump hinge on it here. Like I say, this was just this is exactly how it was when it was just a landscape trailer. And um, the most invasive thing I had to do one was cutting the perches loose and not hurting the axle and putting the perches on the other side of the axle. And then the other thing, here let me dump it. Pull the handle. Let's pull it like that. Down she goes. She is. That's her. There's the up. There's the down. Um, the other thing was coming up with this little operation here and uh, making sure it was going to be sturdy enough to pick this thing up. I have it locked in down here at the bottom. I have it locked in here up at the top. Now this is just, jeez, um, I think that's like two by two angle. It's probably an eighth of an inch thick. But I also, on the inside, down at the bottom I have another angle in there so it kind of makes like a, a T at the top and it, it really um, she's pretty sturdy up top and then uh, this is I believe it's 3 16th wall 2 by 4 uh, rectangular tubing and I had this for something I used it little piece off of it. I didn't use the rest of it for what I thought I was going to use it for and it sat around for a while and, and um, so I repurposed it into this. Put that little gusset in there for extra support. Like I say I've had this thing overload and it dumped really well. Nothing flexed or moved and I was really surprised. Um, this is another one of those builds that uh, really went off without a hitch. The only problem that I have right now is, like I say, the dump angle is right about 40, 40 degrees. Um, it dumps brush pretty good. The rock doesn't do too bad. I haven't hauled dirt with it, but I know by the brush, it has a tendency to want to hang in there. You got to kind of jiggle the trailer a little bit when I go to the landfill. I have to kind of get it dumped up and then do a little pull away. So I, I think. The other thing that may help to get a little more angle out of it would be to either put a taller tire on it or put a block underneath the uh, axle, in, uh, between the axle and the, the leaf spring and get another inch or two of height out of it would help my dump angle because uh, when it's fully dumped the tail of the trailer just gets into the ground a little bit. Um, so I think... I think that's about it. I didn't really, like I say, it wasn't a whole lot to it. I, um, my research and development on this, if you will, was uh, played with it and looked at it when it was still 10 feet long. Looked at the dump angle, trimmed a little off the back and just kept playing with it till I got about where I needed. And then I um, jacked it up and uh, everything looked about good. And then I made my final trim on the back and then took my measurements when I jacked it up and to calculate how much lift I could get out of the springs and that's what we came up with. <laughs>